Hey guys, so today I just wanted to pop on and do a little update on my citronella plant because I've been doing a lot of cleaning up around here lately. I'm starting to get some dead foliage on my citronella. There's like three plants in here and this guy is getting so big. So you can see all this growth in here is really starting to take off. I have three separate plants in this five gallon bucket and it's just starting to get so big. So what I'm starting to do is propagate a lot of these offshoots. I already stuck this one in the ground right next to it and they're doing really, really well. So I just wanted to pop on and show you guys these little updates. This is another little citronella plant I propagated from an offshoot a couple of months ago, and I just dropped it in the ground a couple of weeks ago. So they're really starting to take off now. My ground around here is really fertile, so I haven't given any nutrients to this so far. For my containers, I add a little bit of granule fertilizer from Nature Safe once every month or three weeks, it depends. If I see that it needs some, some food, then I might feed it in that three weeks. But if it doesn't, then I'll usually wait till that month is up. I feed once a month and they stay in about a good six hours of direct sun a day, but in the morning, this way it's not so intense because then they just burn on me. And they're really starting to fill out here. Now that we're getting into the summertime, you can see how much growth we have within this plant. So what I'm gonna start doing is just cleaning it up. I'm gonna start pushing, plucking out all this dead stuff, get it out of there so we don't get any diseases or pests lurking around underneath our foliage here. It's in the summertime now, so my plants are really prone to a lot of diseases and pests. So keeping them aired out and clean and a lot of uh, airflow in between the leaves really helps them not to get bacteria and fungus infections within their foliage. And it also helps to stop pests from creeping around and hiding within your leaves. They really like dead plants, so any dead leaves on there, you wanna get off. This way aphids and spider mites don't go make it home underneath your foliage. So we're just gonna start down here and we're gonna to continue to trim all this dead foliage off. Anything brown and yellow, we're gonna get on out of there. And I make sure I sterilize or wash off my scissors before I start cutting any new plant. This helps to stop the transferring of any diseases or pests if I use these scissors on another plant. You always wanna wash your scissors off in between cutting any type of plant because you can transfer many pests and diseases from one plant to another really easily. We're going to continue to trim and I'll show you guys when we're all finished. And we are all done. You can really see that difference before and after we trimmed. We have a lot of nice airflow through our leaves now and our plant can breathe. Thank you so much for being here you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this little video and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!